Hello all. In this video, we are going to discuss about hard skills versus soft skills. Uh, as a business, I mean, when you're looking for a business analyst role or a scrum master role or a product owner role, you might be thinking about, okay, how will I be eliciting requirements? Uh, how will I be documenting? How will I be writing functional user stories and technical user stories? How will I be interfacing with developers and testers? Will I be able to understand all systems, all the uh, technical content that will be discussed or not? That will be discussed on the uh, on the meetings and on during the JAT sessions, so on and so forth. But then, when you are preparing for this role, something that you would almost always miss, and something that you cannot obtain before you go on site for the role or before you. Uh, start doing that role. Uh, something that you cannot get beforehand is the soft skills. A, a, a developer's role or a tester's role is very uh, uh, straightforward. And when I say this, I'm saying in terms of soft skills, it's very straightforward. You will be given some requirements. A, you can either be happy about it. B, you can be not so happy about it because you feel you've been given a lot of work. If the case is going to be, you're going to express your dissatisfaction during the retrospective meeting uh, or during some other meetings. But that's about it. That's all the soft skills that you might need. But then as a business analyst or a scrum master, or a product owner, as a business analyst, or a product owner, as a scrum master, you get to interface with a lot of entities. You get to interface with the business. So as a business analyst, you'll talk to the business to gather requirements. There will be cases where they don't give the requirements properly. They don't give the requirements on the timeline that you need it to meet the schedule set up by your IT project manager. They, the level of clarity might be low. You might not be uh, given any end users to work with to understand that particular module that you're going to deal with. The so and and you you should you, and so this is just the business, right? You also interface with the development team and the testing team. And there will be cases where the developers and testers might feel the requirements are not given in a clear and concise manner. They might not be happy with the way the work is allotted to them by the project manager, if it's a classic organization, or uh, the way the work is coming in, uh, though it's not allotted, if it's a matrix organization, it might things might be a little bit different. So you have to deal with that as a business analyst since you are interfacing. So in order to deal with all these things, things like the business might give a lot of conflicting requirements. And then you have to express yourself and let the business know that these, requ these requirements are conflicting, which might lead to some friction. You need to, and, and you need to know how to deal with it. They might call a defect. Uh, uh, they might call a missed requirement a defect, which is not the case. And you should be able to uh, openly tell them that this is not a defect and it is, it's indeed a missed requirement because missed requirement and defect are do two different things. In order to do all these things, you should know how to maintain good relationships with different partners like development team, testing team, the product team, the business team. You should know how to maintain a good relationship and you should also know how to give polite pushbacks when extra requirements are given. Requirements are not coming on the right time. Requirements are not clear. De uh, missed requirements are categorized as defects so that the development team can, so that they can get more work done out of the development team. You should be able to give these polite pushbacks and almost always there is some drama or the other in any organization 
and as a business analyst or a product owner you should be able to deal with it this is where your soft skills come uh, your soft skill uh, your soft skills will come into the picture you should know how to handle people this is something bebok cannot teach you this is something uh, formal theory that you learn before you go go into a project will not teach you this is something that you have to pick up along the way by being vigilant by 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 sheer observation you might see another senior business analyst deal with these conflicts in a much better way most definitely better than you if you that's that's going to be a first project so these are things that you pick up by observation along the way and this is something that's going to challenge you if you if you are not able to write functional user stories or functional requirements or business requirements properly you can always learn it you can always google or you can always go through a course you can always consult someone else and other be and figure it out but then this soft skills is something that you can't uh, it's like hitting a golf ball or it's like hitting a cricket ball you need to develop a knack you need to develop a habit you need to develop that kind of a muscle memory uh in order to develop that soft soft skill so two things that you have to have in mind just to summarize number 1 as a business analyst or a product owner or as a scrum master soft skills are very important i would say soft skills are even more important than hard skills number 2 in order to learn these soft skills you cannot learn it through a book you cannot uh, consult someone and you can't just have one conversation and come out of that conversation with that expertise with that soft skills you can't do that you can only learn it through observation and through experience it's like hitting a golf ball or a cricket ball you need to develop a muscle memory and overall soft skills are very important for a business analyst or a product owner you will face a lot of challenging situations uh and uh, in order to frickle your way out of these situations you need soft skills patience uh, a calm mind you know this will most definitely help so hope you are able to gather something of essence through, uh, through this very small uh, discussion do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so hit the subscribe button you'll see you'll get even, uh, you, you'll get a lot of free content on your feed uh, thank you and have a wonderful day ahead bye